Oh, it means a lot, but I just want to point out, I took this assignment very seriously. Notice the camo in pink for this assignment today. Yeah, it is an amazing transition. You'll see it in the story, but let me tell you, it means so much to the U.S. vet staff here and also the vets that use this career center. It makes them feel like their service is still appreciated. Third time's the charm to cut the ribbon before a brand new career center at U.S. Vets in Inglewood. The spacious and well-equipped center comes with multiple computer workspaces and a classroom immediately put to use for a quick lesson on writing an effective resume. Degree, major, minor, graduation date. Fox sponsored the career center, then made the official opening a celebration. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited to be here. Oh my, this is my second year where I get to participate. It was an honor to MC the ribbon cutting and hear how the updated career center is in line with the U.S. Vets mission to serve veterans that need help. This career center is a representation of independence and growth for our veterans here. Alex Troche is a U.S. Vets success story. You guys at Fox, you don't know how this, this, this will be a great, great addition to uh, our organization. He shared his story from a 22-year career in the Army to his darkest moment living on the streets. I will never, ever, ever forget when I had to eat out of a dumpster. And then he found U.S. Vets. You need that person to actually, you know, uh, uh, put their arm over you and tell them, hey, it's okay, we have these tools here for you. The first goal of U.S. Vets is to get homeless veterans into housing. But believe it or not, eight-year Air Force veteran Kevin Kinsey says that's the easy part. You have to get a person to buy in because it's, it's, it's a bit of freedom in being homeless. It's, you don't have no rules, no bills, no things, so you're trying to build them back up. And you need to help veterans find their new mission after they've left the military. In Kevin's case, the moment he found his purpose came when he was at the L.A. mission. And they're saying, there's any veterans need help, man. The veteran said, yeah, I was just thinking about what I was going to do next, and here you come. And I was hooked. And from there, I've been serving veterans for the last 24 years here at U.S. Vets. U.S. Vets has campuses just like this one in six states and Washington, D.C. Fox's effort with Make Camo Your Cause brought in last year an impressive $250,000 in new contributions. And if you'd like to make a donation or buy some U.S. Vets merch, you can go to our website, foxla.com, and it'll link you to the U.S. Vets website. Reporting live in Inglewood, I'm Susan Hirasuna, Fox 11 News. I like the pink camo, and we're going to continue to brag just a little bit here because it's so important. Take a look at this barbecue at the Veterans Administration Building in West L.A. Wednesday. The Fox Food Service Team and volunteers set up outside to dish out favorites from hot dogs to ribs to barbecue chicken, all these side dishes for 400 veterans to show appreciation for those who served our country. The veterans gave it a big thumbs up. Any time that the country and the Veterans Administration can um, celebrate the veterans, then I think that w that's a great deal. The event was co-sponsored by a Fox partner, nonprofit Rags of Honor. It's the only silk screen shop, which is 100% operated by homeless and previously unemployed vets.